together in the sight of God and of each other to witnessing the joining of Darren Steverson and Alicia DuPont in the union of marriage. You have all been asked here today because you are all an important part of their lives. Whether you are a childhood friend or a self-proclaimed favorite cousin, we are happy to be surrounded by people who love Darren and Alicia the most. Today and every day, we support them as a community with love and strength. Who gives Alicia to be married to Darren on this day? I do. I do. 
Thank you. You may now be seated. At the request of our lovely couple, we ask that you please put away all of your phones and cameras. We invite you to be present with us during this ceremony and let these moments be captured by the professionals. Thank you. Before we begin, we would like to recognize those family members that couldn't be here with us today. While they may not be here in person, they are covering your union today and always. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure to be here with you this afternoon. We are here on this happy day to celebrate with Darren and Alicia as they commit their lives to one another before God. We are reminded that all good relationships continue when they grow together. Over the course of their relationship, Darren and Alicia have developed a strong bond based on shared values and mutual respect. Today, we reflect on the meaning of partnership and its importance to a successful union. As life partners, you are teammates, equipped with your own special skills. So as you share this moment, remember and keep alive forever all of those unique qualities that drew you to one another in the beginning. This moment marks the commencement of a grand adventure of working together to make your marriage grow and blossom in the years to come. A true lasting marriage requires effort, commitment, and the foundation of God. This contract is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously, and with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. And despite the stresses of life, which will come, your love, respect, trust, and understanding of each other are the foundations of a happy and enduring home. Darren and Alicia, seal your love with an I do and commit your vows to one another in the presence of your family and friends. Darren, do you take Alicia to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto her for as long as you both shall live. I do. I hear you louder. I do. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alicia, do you take Darren to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto him for as long as you both shall live. I do. Louder. I do. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Darren and Alicia will now exchange rings as a symbol of their love and commitment. I'm have Darren first. Here we go. All righty. So first, Darren, place your ring onto Alicia's finger and repeat after me, loudly. In token and in pledge, in token and in pledge of, the vow between us made, of the vow between us made, with this ring, with this ring I, thee wed. I thee wed. Now, Alicia, place your ring onto Darren's finger and repeat after me. In token and in pledge, of the vow between us made, and the vow between us made with, this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. Yes, These rings symbolize the union made today, tomorrow, and always. Wear it as a reminder of the love and trust that you have for each other. I want to urge you to hold on to this vision of your lives together as you continue this partnership, once that's defined by shared hopes, dreams, and successes. By the authority vested in me by American Marriage Ministries in the state of New Jersey, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now kiss your bride.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor that I officially present to you, for the very first time, Darren and Alicia Steverson. You know I loved you from the start There are no words or ways to show my love 
Or all the thoughts I'm thinking of Cause this life is no good alone Since we've become one I made a change Everything I do now makes sense All the all I do is for you Share the cup of love that overflows And anyone who knows us knows I will change all thoughts I have for you There is no low or high or in between Of my heart that you haven't seen Cause I share all I have and am to understand yeah. All I feel I feel deeper still And always will All this love is for you Every note that I pray Every word I might say Every At this time, I would like to ask the group's mom to the dance floor for their dance. Friend of mine, this little light of mine, I'm finna let it shine. I'm finna take y'all back to them better times. I'm finna talk about my mama if y'all don't mind. I was three years old when you and I moved to the shy. Late December, harsh winter gave me a cold. It picked me up something that was good for my soul. Famous homie chicken soup, can I have another bowl? You work late nights just to keep on the lights. Mommy got me training with so I can keep on my bike. And you would give me anything in this world. Michael Jackson at the end of the club, but didn't give me no curl. And you never put no man over me, and I love you for that, mommy, can't you see, seven years old, caught you with tears in your eyes, cause if you cheated telling your lies, then I started to cry, as we knelt on the kitchen floor, I said, mommy, I'ma love you till you don't hurt no more, and when I'm older, you ain't gotta work no more, and I'ma get you that mansion that we couldn't afford, see your unbreakable, unmistakable, highly capable, lady that's making loot, I live the legend too, just look at what heaven do, send us an angel, and I thank you, mama, I want to scream so loud for you Alright, let's give them a big round of applause At this time, I would like to invite the bride and her father to the dance floor Forget another chance Another walk Another dance with him I play a song that would never, never end How I'd love, love to dance with my father again Suavemente, besame Que quiero sentir tus labios Besándome otra vez Suave, besame, besame Suave, besame otra vez Suave, besame Yo quiero sentir tus labios Suave, besándome otra vez Suave, besame, besame Suave, 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 besame All right, so 
My name is Jimmy, if y'all don't know, I'm Darren's cousin, his older cousin. Um, and I'm gonna take y'all down a little short memory lane with my little cousin Darren, also known as Birdie. If you know, you know. But now, family, he goes by Birdie. That's his house name, Birdie. So make sure you refer to him now as Birdie. As much as he hates it, he's grown. Call him Birdie. Anyways, me and Darren, <clears throat> if y'all don't know, I don't have any brothers. So my cousins, Darren, also my cousin BJ, who could not be here, we grew up so tight, so close. You know, that was what I had as far as like a brother. I would, I was never at my house on Roz and Darren, y'all know, I was at your house all the time. In fact, they took me in and they are my blessing now and I wouldn't be where I was without them or Darren at this point right now. Um, so I first wanna thank y'all for doing that for me. I appreciate y'all. Hey, I'd say it all the time. That's my, my Aunt Roz. She's my guardian angel. She, she's my godmother, my aunt, but she definitely took care of me, and I wouldn't be who I was today. But Darren and I, it's funny. He always used to come to me, and we would talk about things. We would figure things out. Even when we were kids playing video games, I remember, and he probably don't remember this, but he was come, yo, yo, Jimmy, Jimmy, can you help me come beat, beat this level? I need you to beat this level for me. And I'm big cousin, I'll come in a room, and he'd sit there and literally just watch me play the video game, and I'd beat the level, and we go play the game, go play basketball. And then, even as we got older, we still had this connection. We were still linked, and we were still taught. I moved back up here to Georgia, and we would sit in the car for hours, hours just talking about life money, school. Without this dude, I wouldn't have been back in school. I wouldn't have been back in school. I'd have just been, I'd have just been bullshitting probably. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> well, he told me, yo, Jimmy, just go back to school. I said, all right, fuck it. Let's go back to school. Let's try it. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like without him, I, I wouldn't have went back to school. I was like, I don't need school. But we used to sit and talk all the time about anything. He would come to me about anything. Girls, Family problems. Yo, my mom and dad tripping, man. They want me in the house at 2.30. I'm trying to come home at 3. I'm like, nigga, what's the difference between coming home at 2.30 and 3? What you going to do? <laughs> like, just get your behind in the house. And we would just talk about stuff, figure things out. And I remember the first time I met Ali, and Darren invited me and one of our other friends up to King, uh, where they met. And... Darren was just, he had this party at his crib in his, in his dorm, right? Darren had the upper, the new upper dorm, sorry. All right, he had, he had the rich dorms on campus. Y'all know he had money, he had money. And then he got his Audi and he was pulling up, he wasn't telling him nothing. <laughs> but I remember he invited us up there and he's like, yo, guys, come up to King. I got this party and I got this girl I want y'all to meet. So I'm like, this, all right, he wants us to come all the way to King just to meet a girl. I'm like, all right, shit, okay, let's go. So we come to the party and the whole time he's just like in and out the door, walking back and forth. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with him? Like, who is this girl? So here come Ollie walking in. I'm like, okay, all right. I'm like, this, this, okay, who that? He's like, yo, guys, this this Alicia. I said, oh, Alicia, that's my sister name. Nice to meet you. All right. And I didn't see Darren the rest of the night. No, dead ass. I didn't see him the rest of the night. I knew where he was. It was just like, I didn't see, and I, this ain't even, I'm not even from Keene. I was visiting. I'm just like, where am I supposed to go? I don't, like, where am I? I guess I'm sleeping on the couch. I don't know where to go. We ended up leaving, but I started noticing that my cousin that I looked at as my brother, I was starting to see a lot less. I was starting to hear from a lot less. We weren't talking as much. I started feeling some type of way. Who wouldn't? Like I said, I don't have any brothers, so when I consider you my brother, you're a brother to me. Like, blood don't make it any different, but 
I stopped seeing him a lot more. I remember on Ross and go, Darren, yo, yo, Jimmy, you heard from Darren? Hell no, I heard from Darren. I ain't seen him like three, four months. Not even a text. And like I said, I felt some type of way, but then I sat back and I was like, while I'm sitting here thinking I'm losing a brother, no, I'm actually gaining another sister. I understood what was happening. No, for real, listen. I understood what was happening. He was growing. And Alicia was his confidant. He didn't need to come to me. He didn't need to ask me questions. We didn't need to sit and talk about money. We didn't need to sit and talk about our future. His future was happening right in front of him. I didn't need to be there. Anyways, like I said, I wasn't losing a brother. I was gaining another sister. And with that, growth was happening. These guys were building their future. You know, Alicia started doing a lot of the things that Darren ain't never done before. They was going on trips. My man was international. Upgraded that passport. He was out in the city. I'm like, who is Darren Steverson? But I was loving that for my little cousin, man. And I couldn't be more happier, and I couldn't be more happier for you two. And cheers to y'all, man. To the newlyweds, the Stevensons. Cheers. Love y'all. All right, guys, don't finish your drink. Hi, I'm Nana. I was Alicia's college roommate, and Darren was also our, like, uninvited roommate. I used to tell him all the time, go home, Roger, but... Okay, sorry to get cut short. Jimmy talked for so long that the microphone died. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so Darren kind of never went away, and I kind of grown to love Darren. And I realized that Alicia was in love with Darren, and I knew there was one specific day I was like, oh, Darren is going to be her husband. So Darren is very organized, and he's, like, very meticulous about everything. He's like a weirdo the way that he makes his bed. Darren tucks all of his sheets under the mattress. So one day I come back to the dorm and Alicia made her bed the same way. And I was like, oh, I guess she's in love because she started picking up some of his habits. So from that moment on, I, ooh, I knew that Darren was the one for her. And I'm so happy for you guys. I always knew we were going to be here and I couldn't have pictured a more perfect union you guys bring out the best in one another, and you guys push each other to be better versions of yourself every day. And I love both of you guys. So let's cheers to the Steverson. Cheers. Go bow for the result, oh. Nothing to discuss, oh. Cause I think we are by fault and without any doubt, oh. I'm a me, I be a doubt, oh. I look of feet, they go. I look of feet, they go yourself, oh. I'm a mind as you get up, oh. I put my life into my job and I know I'm in trouble. She manipulate my love, oh.